change uh, in your philosophy and the way you're coaching right now? Anything, or you just keep doing it? Well, you know, we, we get back to basics. You know, we went back to playing the ball and guarding the ball and boxing out. And then we went back to best, basically back to defense one on one on Monday. Um, so you go back to your what your your philosophies and what your values are, what you need to emphasize, and that's what you practice. And uh, you know, you shake up, you know. Sh- change the teams up a little bit. And, um, so we'll see. You Certainly know, we'll see no, nothing happening. you envisioned then with, with 450 or seniors. Oh, absolutely players. not. No, I don't think anybody envisioned this. But look, it, it, it's it's a great lesson in life that we're learning right now, which is that nothing's given to you. And, you know, um, just be, again, just because we have 450 or seniors, uh, you know, if they don't play like the 50 or seniors, uh, we're 0-7. And, seven. and it's, again, it's not just those guys. It's, 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 we win as a team, we lose as a team. So it's certainly not just, uh, I'm not putting it on those four guys. But I, I do think, you know, this team has not played like a veteran team uh, all year. So it doesn't, you know, it's, it's not just the conference play. Even when we were 10-3 and three and we lost to Colorado State, and we were on the in, inconsistent, you know. Or, I mean, shoot. You can make an argument that our best, uh, most complete game was the Sacramento State, mm-hmm. which is our opener. opener. We, have, we haven't played a complete game since. Uh, and not to harp on the 0-7, mm-hmm. so do you yeah. hit a reset button then? Do you just say, okay, hey guys, we have to now focus on yeah, the last 11? And- yeah, that's, that's all you can do, because there's nothing we can do about the 7. That are, you know, that's water under the bridge. Now, we have to learn from it. We can't ignore it. We can't to pretend like it's not there because we all know it is. So, uh, But we can't, uh, there's nothing we can do about it other than move forward and uh, play. You know, this group, if anything, we should be playing with a chip on our shoulder and a little bit of nasty to us. And, and uh, you know, the, the, the one thing I'm not going to let happen is I'm not going to let these guys feel sorry for themselves. And I'm not going to feel sorry for myself as a coach. I mean, it's, uh, look, I've, this is, uh, I've not, I've, I've, I've coached uh, teams that have not had winning records before. We, you know, we're still a 500 team. You know, for for right now, we're 10 and 10. Um, but we're on a slide, and the only people that can bring us out of it is ourselves. And so we we have to focus on and what, the other thing we've talked about is being thumb guys first. We got to look in the mirror. What am I doing as a coach? Or what is an assistant coach doing or not doing? What is the trainer doing or not doing? What is our strength coach doing and not doing? What are each individual player needs to do the same thing? They got to be thumb guys first, look in the mirror, and then you know we come together and we talk about the the reasons, <laughs> and now it's our job to go out and correct those. You're going to see a team in a, virtually the exact same spot as mm-hmm. you guys are yeah. uh, coming up this week. Uh, very uh, desperate, you know. Very desperate. Uh, and they're, they've got some talent on that team. Absolutely. I mean, Stevie Thompson is uh, as good a guard as there is in this league. He shoots the heck out of the ball. And Drew Eubanks is as an athletic, uh, but big as there is in this league. And uh, they've got some good young players uh, that are coming along. So uh, certainly I'm not going to say Oregon State is the juggernaut of the league, but neither are we. So, you know, we've got we to figure out a way. And, uh, you know, the one thing this team's done is they've competed. They've got a competitive spirit about them. We're just not uh, getting it done on one end of the floor. And it's uh, really disappointing because that's something that I've always uh, prided uh, myself on, you know, as, as a coach, as, as a team that, that guards. The two things that you always talk about, rebounding mm-hmm. and defense, your yeah. rebounding. Rebounding is good enough. The, it, last, it, the yeah. last two games especially. Absolutely. Yeah, we've rebounded well enough to win. We just haven't defended well enough especially at critical times. Coach, I've talked to a few of your guys and a few uh-huh. of your former guys, and they talk about lacking a swagger. Do you, do you feel that way at all? And do you feel yeah, like- you know, I don't know of any teams that are 0-7 you know, or 1-6 that have swagger. Um, so again, it, it's not about having swagger, it's about having a chip on your shoulder and playing with a little bit of you know, piss and vinegar. That's what we need. You know, this is, uh, we got no reason to have swagger. We got to come in with our hard hats on, ready to go to, go to battle. So that doesn't mean we don't play with confidence. We don't play. We have to play with an edge about us, and we have to do it for 40 minutes. Is there a way you can? You talked about desperation a little bit. Is there a way to channel that energy into you know maybe a little bit of a turnaround here? Absolutely. There's yeah. That, that's there's no reason why we can't do it. But yeah, we're, we're not going to do it by talking about it. I'm not going to do it with a pregame speech or a halftime speech. 
these guys aren't going to do it by tweeting about it or playing video games and pretending that they're you know something that they're not. I mean, we have to go out and do it ourselves, and we have to do it as a group, and we have to do it together. And that's that's been the message to our team is that uh, you know together we can accomplish anything. And I still feel like that. You know, there's 11 games left. Um, probably can't win the league, but we can we can get this thing turned around and certainly uh, get some momentum going. Do you think a win against Oregon State can help you get that? It's the first step. It's the first step. Certainly not the last step, but it's the first step.